Hey everyone, Paul Mann here and welcome to my videos on Practical Python. This is where we bring your Python skills to life. This video is part three of my series on photo image processing. In this series, we were writing Python code to find and extract key metadata from photo image files. In the first two videos, we learned how to extract the device make, model, and timestamp from the various photo images, including heck and raw images. We ended up with a list similar to this one, and that was very helpful. In this video, we're going to take it a step further and get the location data from our photos as well. Getting the location data is a little trickier than what we've done before, as we not only need to pull values from the image metadata, but we also need to convert these values to latitude and longitude coordinates. Once we have the coordinates, we'll go to our friends over at Google Maps to get the location the photo was taken via their geocoding API. Now these APIs are pay for services, but I'll show you how to get a one year free trial on the Google Cloud platform so we can use the APIs for free. Hopefully by the time the free trial expires, we'll have a real developer account or some other way of doing this. So similar to the last time, we'll start off with a new Python file to process the geo info. And then once it's working, we'll incorporate it into our current program as additional detail. So the first thing we should do is install some of the libraries that we need. Some of them are just the standard pillow libraries that we've used already. If any of these are not installed automatically, you may have to either install them in PyCharm or use pip3 to install them. So the requests is there and regex and some standard OS libraries to go through directories. The first function is to simply get the exif data from a file. We've done this in the previous video as well. Once we get the exif data, we can um, do a dictionary print and see what's in there. And it's all the standard stuff. And uh, 34853 is the code for the GP, uh, GPS info. So we really only need the first four values of this, um, of, of this field in the exif data. We need the uh, latitude reference and the latitude, longitude and longitude reference. So the first one, two, three, four will get us. So this is, for example, latitude, which is number two, which will give us the, the actual latitude. And if we call this, we should see the latitude value out of the exif data. So it doesn't look like much, but that's the latitude of the, the photo. So if we put four of these in that we need, we can print that out and you'll see that that is the information we need. And we need to convert that to coordinates to let to the latitude and longitude to get the location of the photograph. So we'll delete our print statement. And here we have another function, which is the conversion. There's a lot uh, in here. If you're really into it, you can go over to the website of exiftools.org and find out. But what we're just going to do here is do the conversion based on the formula that was provided to us for this. So we'll send our coordinates to that function to convert into latitude and longitude. So if we print out the lat and long, we should have two numbers that we can actually put right into a Google map to get an address. And these are the, the coordinate values for the photograph that we sent through to tablerock.jpg. So you can see if you put those into Google Maps, you get a location and that is the location. But we don't want to do that for every picture we have on our computer, so we want to use an API to go and do that automatically. So there are three lines of code in our get geo. Um, first one is the request. The request is a Python function that takes an URL and uh, provided to us by Google and goes out and gets the location based on the coordinates that we provide in the latling variable. And we also need to provide an API key to get this information. To get the API key, we go to cloud.google.com slash free. That'll give us the main screen here to kick off our free tier. And we'll click on get started for free. 
it'll prompt us to enter some basic information. We will have to enter a credit card number, although we'll not be charged unless we upgrade to the premium, which we don't need to do. So once you click on uh, Get Started after you filled in the basic information, you will be taken to the console where you will, may need to create a project, but you will need to enable the API that we want. So the geocoding API is the one that we are going to use. There are many more you can try out here, and I suggest you try them all. There's a lot of really cool stuff. But you go to your geocoding, and you once you generate the API key, you copy that to your clipboard, and you paste that into your program, and save it to a variable called API key, like I have done. And then that's part of the URL that you will send to Google to get the location of the photo. As you can see, I'm saving the API key to a file and then reading it in. This is just one way to protect the key and you should protect yours, but I didn't want to paste it right into the code. So this second line on the get geo function is simply a search for the data that's returned from the API. When Google returns my API request, it comes in a JSON file, which has a lot of information. I only wanted the address of the photo. So I searched through that first in instance of formatted address, that's the field, and that gives me the location data. You could search for lots of other stuff, um, and you should take your time to look at that. The way to get that information is to use the R text, as you see on the next line where I'm printing it. So now we're going to uh, call the get geolocation function. We're going to send it the coordinates we received earlier, and the name of the file. Just keep in mind that I had to convert the coordinates to a string and take away the first character and the last character, which was actually the brackets of the tuple. And once I send this, I should get the address that the picture was taken. And this is the correct address. I have incorporated our new code into the existing code we had that searched through all the image files. I created a folder on my desktop called GeoTest and put a bunch of photos in there and I'm going to search through those and get the location, the make, the model and all the information we've received to date from those photos. So I've cleaned up the code a little bit as well. Um, I've added a function to get coordinates so instead of going for specific numbers in the uh, GPS info on the exit data I have a routine that goes through the uh, tag. So it's doing exactly the same as what we did before but it's a little more Pythonic maybe, if you will. Um, and this one also scrolls through many files, as you'll see, that goes through my folder on the desktop. So when I run this, you see the files with all the pertinent information to make, the model, the date the photo was taken, and now the location data as well. So this is an easy way to go through a lot of files and see exactly what you have. There are other attributes we can get from exit data, of course, as well, but these, to me, are the most important when I'm searching through my computer. And, of course, the ones that didn't show up in the list will show up in the log file, so we can see the files that didn't have any location data or maybe are corrupted. And finally, if we run this against the original folder, we'll get this list, which includes all the files, the heck and the raw files. And as you can see, some of the files do not have geo information. For example, I have a Canon camera here that doesn't have location services. So that's not going to return location data. So this is all the data we requested from the file based on what data is in that file. So that's most of what you need to know to process metadata on your photo files. A few wrap up items here. In the video, I use the APIs from the Google Cloud pl Platform, but another option for these APIs is to use the Here Developer Network. I'll leave the URL and some code in the comments of this code to show you how to get to those APIs and search the data. The Here Network requires an account, but they do have a freemium version that will allow you to use their APIs with some restrictions. The restrictions are like 250,000 requests a month, which is way more than sufficient for what we're doing here. They do give you an account without a credit card, so that may be something if you're worried about that. I did not do the heck and raw images for geo information. I'm happy to revisit that. If you leave a comment below, let me know. I'll, I'll gladly create a video on that. 
All the code here is on my GitHub site for you to download. I encourage you to fork and download it and give your input. You can look at how to do that on my most recent video on GitHub. And finally, I realize the search is used to get the addresses from the return JSON data from the APIs is a little crude. Um, we used regex here, but uh, it might be worthwhile doing a video to show how to use JSON with uh, Python in the future. Let me know what you think about that here in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Thanks, and take care.